And normally what would happen in the history of the city that I live in and the state I've lived in, if you create an insurrection or a revolution or a civil war, you get big monuments and memorials to you. But because this was a person who was enslaved, there is nothing for him in the city that I live in. This man named Gabriel was a blacksmith in Henrico County. And when they got together, his group of people, to organize and take over the city, they were hung and murdered for it down at Broad and 15th Street in Richmond, Virginia. So let's take all that stuff out of it. Actually, I, don't, I, I cannot properly explain this. This is what you have to know. Share that story with your neighbors. If you know it, tell it to them. I'm not offended, talk while I'm talking. This is what you gotta know. Where Gabriel, who is a revolutionary, take the slave stuff, take the economics out of it 100%. Where Gabriel was buried amongst the other free blacks and slaves became a parking lot. And I just have that simple, very fucking simple question. Anybody in your family line, anybody in your family tree, if they were so profoundly disrespected that their final resting place was considered a proper place for motherfuckers to park cars, how the fuck would you feel? Asshole. Light lines and cars. How the fuck would y'all feel? Disrespected, disappointed with the place you live in? That's how I feel. Because these people built the city that I live in. Right? So, what is right? Talk shit about it. Tell everyone about it. Bam! That's what I do. Wrote this stupid three chord song, yet another three chord song. Go on the road with that theory and try to force my city to submit to the embarrassment of the thing that they did. Right? So I go on the road with this theory and I am the most blessed and lucky motherfucker that I get to travel all over the world. And all this shit popped up. Toronto for Gabriel. Uh, Australia for Gabriel. La la la. But what was actually really going on behind the scenes is that there was real people, church members, radicals, anarchists, communists, very small groups, because where I live in, it's a medium-sized East Coast city, but they were doing acts of civil disobedience. They were talking shit to the press. They were doing all this stuff behind the scenes, and what happened was a collaboration of change. So here we go. For one of the few times in my entire life, in anything that I've been involved in, we fucking won. Believe this. We fucking won. I could not believe what I saw when I went down to the African burial grounds on the day that they tore the fucking pavement off of it. Y'all don't even know. It wasn't a big celebration. It was just a thing that happened. It was almost like a process. The people who own the parking lot is Virginia Commonwealth University. You know who was fucking there? The president of Virginia Commonwealth University getting his little photo off. Y'all know who else was there? Black radicals telling that motherfucker to go home. That's what's up. And this is what we do. Don't ever let anyone tell you that your thoughts of what is right aren't right if you truly believe it in your heart. Don't let anybody tell you that your whispers are fucking irrelevant when you know in your heart that they are. Or your stupid three chord songs, or your arrests, your little time in process and release, or your long term fucking one month or six month, whatever the fuck it is you get, don't ever let anybody fight you on that. When it's right, it's right. And when you need to change it, you change it. And this shit, as trivial as it may seem, is a beautiful fucking thing. That field, that parking lot is now a field. And there is memorials for the people who are buried there. We did this. Thanks y'all for it. That's what's up. Does anyone know the name? Gabriel Prosser. My conscience says he's the one that history missed. A blacksmith by trade off in Brookfield Plantation. The Henrico County slave for the owner Thomas. If you listen closely, you'll hear the words perfect. The Caribbean. 
Oh, God. 